Hi, everybody. Michael Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements Beginning and Intermediate course. So we've gone through the organizer, the program that gets your images into Photoshop Elements, and you sort them, rate them, get down and find your best images. Now it's time to get to the portion of Photoshop Elements where you do all of your work and turn those images into great pieces of art, and that's the photo editor. We're looking at the welcome screen here, and all we're going to do is click on Photo Editor, and this is what you will see as the default opening. If you look at it right now, we're going to start right off the bat by looking right across the center above the, this is called the document window, where this document is residing. You see three buttons, and the highlighted button is Quick. By default, it opens up at Quick. These are three different editing modes that are available. We'll be talking about all of this in detail in a couple of other lessons. This lesson is an overview of the photo editor workspace. All right, so it opens up in Quick Edit. I'm going to give you a really quick look at Guided Edit. Quick Edit gives you some options. Guided Edit is if you wake up in the morning and can't remember what your name is, it walks you through everything you want to step by step. Very, very cool. But we're going to be dealing in the workspace mode that you'll most often use, and that is the expert mode. And that's what we're looking at right here. So in this lesson, Photoshop Elements 11, the photo editor workspace, I want to open up one other file here very quickly because we're going to deal with that one as well. And there we are. Um, this is the Photoshop Elements 10 workspace. And in comparing the two, you'll see that the similarities are right there. Let's go through the details of 11 first. And then at the end, I'll give you a quick comparison to show you how similar they are. The most obvious thing for those of you that may have 10, is that you see the quick, guided, and expert buttons are in the center at the top. And over here in 10, you notice there's nothing at the top, and it's a dark interface. That's another story. On the right side, you see three tabs, Edit, Create, and Share. Under the Edit tab, you see a, it's hard to see it. Let's zoom up. I can show you. You'll see a full quick and guided. There's the quick, there's the guided. The full edit in Elements 10 is exactly the same as Expert. All they did was change the name. All right, let's go back. To start with, before we even discuss the workspace itself, let's get our preferences set. This doesn't take too long, but it's an important step. You need to have everything set up properly, and you won't have to deal with it again. So, for the, those of you like me who are on a Macintosh, this is the Macintosh version, go to your Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner, down to Preferences, over to General, and you get the box. For those of you on PCs, under your Edit menu, down at the bottom, you will see the Preferences uh, button right there, come up with the same window. All right. By default, the color picker is Adobe. You have an option, Apple or Adobe. Adobe is the best. This is the way to leave it. Step back and forward. I'll identify what that is. On my Mac, it says Command plus Z and Command plus Y. On a PC, it's Control Z or Control Y. What this allows you to do if you're making uh, moves, doing things on an image, and you've done several things, and you want to go backwards, a couple of steps. You can always use Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, plus the letter Z to back up successively, step, 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 step backwards, and then you can move back forward by going Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, plus the letter Y. You can also do this down at the bottom left side of the workspace. Notice this Undo button that I'm looking at down here, and the Redo. It's the same thing. All right, under the options here, everything that's checked is really good. I would suggest those of you that have a um, mouse, 
you, and you do have a scroll wheel, you might want to check this one. This allows you to zoom the image in and out with your scroll wheel. I use a graphics tablet. This is a Wacom graphics tablet. I highly recommend these if you're going to be working extensively with images and want to do precision work. It works just like drawing. This is a pen and it, you notice I can draw circles. I can draw with extreme precision and accuracy. Do my double clicks. Everything you can do with a mouse or with a, ugh, I hate them, touchpad. You can do much better with a graphics tablet. You might look into it. The best ones are by Wacom, W-A-C-O-M. This is the high-end version in Tuos, I-N-T-U-O-S. They have a less, slightly lesser resolution version called Bamboo. Either one works fabulously. All right, so that's the Zoom with Scroll Wheel. On the left side,